I am uh, Peter Oakley and this interview is for the Royal Geographical Society 21st Century Challenges series. Perhaps I might just introduce myself possibly with a, a clip of um, a television program that I was involved with. Peter Oakley from Britain is one of the world's oldest video bloggers, so he has a long life to look back on and a lot to say. 80-year-old widower Peter Oakley used to sell motorbikes. Now he's retired, and he may have <laughs> slowed down a bit, but he's not your average isolated pensioner. With a little help from a webcam, a mic, and headphones, he's reinvented himself as an internet star. His username, Geriatric1927. The government have set up a department uh, to try to encourage more elderly people like myself to embrace the technology of computers and the internet and and explain the benefits that they would get from it the uh, benefits that the elderly can get from using the internet uh, are, are huge and um, i haven't time in this video to list them all but um you can order goods online you can book your airfare you can catch up with television you can read newspapers online anywhere in the world um, and of course you can communicate anywhere in the world and um, it has been a wonderful benefit to me as a, as a widower uh, living alone where I've been able to make friends all over the world and you have access to instant communication with emails and the list goes on and on and on. The the problems are that people of my generation and friends that I talk to, they just don't really want to know because there's a great fear that it's all too much for them to understand. They've seen their children and grandchildren in their bedrooms tapping away on keyboards and headphones on and doing all sorts of things that are a complete mystery to them. Well, you don't, um, you don't have to do those sort of things. Um, you have the availability to do the things that I have just, um, I have just talked about. Um, I think that old people in of our generation, things have moved on technically at such a rapid pace that we get left behind. We hear all sorts of gobbledygook of technical expressions of modems and motherboards and megabytes and all that stuff and uh, we don't understand what it is and um, really um, it seems too much of a mystery and, and we don't feel that we can tackle it which of course is not true because um, you could take the analogy of a motor car you don't know need to know how a motor car works to be able to drive it in fact I've been in the motor trade and if I were to lift the bonnet up of my car today I wouldn't recognize what was under there it's full of computers your washing machine is full of computers and everything the airplane that you fly in is full of computers you don't need to know what they're all about they are just tools to to use um, and a computer um, basically does everything for you and you don't need to know all this technical jargon it's a pretty foolproof piece of equipment and a tool that you can use so I, I always try to get over the that particular barrier how are we to get more people to embrace this technology of the internet and uh, and and get the benefits from it? Um, 
Well, uh, obviously, um, I mean, the government, I suppose, must throw money at it because it's got to be advertised. Um, okay, lots can be written about it, but uh, I would think that um, uh, television is the main uh, means of uh, advertising to, to everybody, and I would have thought sort of 10, 15 second clips. Um, popped into programs regularly uh, would would showing the benefits uh, each particular benefit that older people can get from the internet would be uh, would be a very good way to do it but um, of course I'm not in the government department it's uh, it's run by a very uh, efficient uh, lady called Martha Lane Fox and uh, maybe we could uh, we could swap ideas but um i can only think that we must keep plugging away of the wonderful benefits that the internet has uh, offers uh, people and um i am certainly an example of it i could not live without the internet now i catch up with television programs I might have missed. I listen to the radio on it. Uh, one great thing is that in you can uh, communicate with people all over the world. There are programs where uh, you can interact with people both on camera and uh, with speech. Most modern computers have built-in cameras and, uh, and microphones and I talk with people from China to Sweden to Germany, England, America, um, practically every day. And um, certainly it has enriched my life as, as a widower living alone. I order my, um, my uh, delivery of food on the internet. Um, I buy things on the internet. Um, it's a very uh, wonderful thing for people who might be infirmed. So apart from communication and the availability to do those things, then of course there's education. There is nothing, literally nothing, that the, the internet uh, won't provide you with in the way of information. Um, and it is just a wonderful way of life that um, certainly in my case although um, as in the first clip I also do this social networking thing on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all those things um, it has been a great benefit to me and I can assure you that when you get into it uh, you too would find a benefit and I know I know elderly people who who didn't want to know and um, now you can't get grandma off the internet so I hope um, I hope we can encourage more people uh, to uh, to do it and embrace this new technology however my time is up so um, goodbye